The Ord River is a 320 kilometer, 200 miles long river in the Kimberley region of Western Australia. The river's catchment covers 46,100 square kilometers, 17,799 square miles. The Ord River irrigation scheme was built in stages during the 20th century. Australia's largest artificial lake by volume, Lake Argyle was completed in 1971. The lower reaches of the river support an important wetland area known as the Ord River floodplain, a protected area which contains numerous mangrove forests, lagoons, creeks, flats and extensive floodplains. Naming, it was named in honor of Sir Harry St. George or GCMG, CB, RE, Governor of Western Australia from 1877 to 1880 by Alexander Forrest on August 2, 1879. Forrest's journal states, We are still 300 miles from the telegraph line, and cannot of course tell what difficulties may not yet be in store for us, so I feel bound to push on, at the same time no one can regret more than I do that I am unable to follow this magnificent stream to its mouth which I have no doubt will be found in Cambridge Gulf the whole of its waters in that case being in Western Australian territory. I have named this river the Ord, after His Excellency the Governor of Western Australia, who has taken so great an interest in this expedition. Marked a tree F-158. The headwaters of the Ord River are located below the 983-meter Mount Wells and initially flows east and around the edge of Pernilu National Park before heading north through Lake Argyle then passing west of Kununurra and discharging into the Cambridge Gulf, which is at the southern extremity of the Joseph Bonaparte Gulf, Timor Sea. The river has 35 tributaries of which the five longest are Bow River, Nicholson River, Dunham River, Banton River and Negri Rivers. Ord River Irrigation Scheme The idea of damming the Ord was first mentioned over 100 years ago, when the Western Australia Commissioner of Tropical Agriculture, Adrian Despis, suggested, substantial wooden dams constructed on a double row of jarrah piles driven into the bed of the river, with a core wall of puddle clay between, would appear to form suitable weirs. Between 1935 and 1942 drought affected the Kimberley pastoral industry and the Ord scheme can thank this drought for its existence. The focus in 1937 was that a dam on the Ord could supplement the pastoral industry. Ord River Experimental Station, then Minister for Lands and Agriculture, FJS Wise, in 1937 wrote, We set a plan in motion during the past 12 months in connection with the establishment of experimental areas on Ivanhoe Station somewhere near Carlton Reach. Carlton Reach was the largest waterhole in the Kimberley, being naturally dammed and held back by the Bandicoot Bar, a quartzite rock bar that held back the waterhole for many miles forming a natural permanent lake. By 1941 the Carlton Reach Research Station, also known as the Ord River Experimental Station, was set up by Kimberly Michael Durock for the Western Australia Department of Agriculture with funds, supposedly siphoned off from the Kalgoorlie Pipeline and assistance from the Western Australia Public Works Department, PWD. Ord River Dam Surveys during August 1941 the newly appointed Director of Works, R. J. Dumas, spent three weeks in the East Kimberley, dot 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 accompanied by F. Foreman, Government Geologist. T. Brennan, Acting Engineer for the Northwest, K. Duroc, J. Walker, a half-caste Aboriginal, and a full-blood Aboriginal, Jacko. This party traveled by horseback along the Ord River and through the Ord River gorges in the Carboid Range, selecting several possible dam sites. Work continued at the Carlton Reach Experimental Station for Kim Durock with assistance from his brother William A. Durock, on various agricultural experiments, centered on supplementing the pastoral industry. Involving the Commonwealth, 
early in 1944 Dumas wrote to the Commonwealth Government, advising of the soil, botanical, erosion and engineering surveys about to take place in the East Kimberley, explaining, the project must become largely a national one and any assistance from the Commonwealth would be welcome. By May 1944 there was a large body of agriculturalists, botanists and surveyors carrying out investigations in the vicinity of Carlton Reach. Establishment of the Kimberley Research Station, it would be another two years before the Commonwealth Government became involved, with the establishment of a joint XER and Western Australia Department of Agriculture facility. As the Carlton Reach, Ord River Experimental Station site was river alluvium, red soil, and most of the surveyed agricultural land was Kununurra clay, black soil, volcanic soil eroded from the Antrim Plateau volcanics, it was moved to a new site further down river and the new Kimberley Research Station, KRS, was established in 1946. Justifying Dam Construction, in 1951, the KRS Supervisory Committee KRSSE, indicated that sugar and rice were two cash crops that could justify dam construction. Over the 13 years between 1946 and 1959 various agricultural experiments were undertaken at KRS and in April 1959 the KRS Supervisory Committee recommended the establishment of a pilot farm. In August 1959, the Commonwealth Government made a grant of £5 million to WA Government, most to be used for the Ord River Scheme. Origin of the Ord River Irrigation Area The Ord River Irrigation Area, or IA, which was originally known as the Ord River Irrigation Scheme, ORIS, or Ord River Project, when it was approved by the Commonwealth Government, late in 1959 and began in 1960 with the establishment of the town of Kununurra, which was gazetted a town on February 10, 1961. The first dam, Ord River Diversion Dam. The construction of the Ord River Diversion Dam started in late 1960 and was officially opened in July 1963 by then Prime Minister, Robert Menzies. The Ord River Diversion Dam holds back Lake Kununurra which gravity feeds the Ord River irrigation area with water via the main channel, M1C1. The main channel is visible in the photograph with Lake Kununurra, Ord River, formerly the Carlton Reach waterhole, Ord River, in the background. The Ord River pilot farm, to test the commercial viability of the Oria, the WA government, passed an act of parliament, known as the Northern Development, Ord River, Act, and in October 1960, ratified an agreement with the company Northern Developments, Ord River Proprietary Limited to set up and run the first pilot farm. This was backed by the WA government but was to run as a commercial farming venture. By November 1960 the first 200 acres had been chained dozed and cleared, a channel and pumps were in place to irrigate the first commercial rice crop that had been planted on the new pilot farm. This was almost three years before the completion of the Ord River Diversion Dam and Main Channel, so the pilot farm irrigated by pumping water from the Carlton Reach waterhole. Commercial Irrigation Farming Allocation of commercial farm land during Stage 1 of the project was allocated in stages with the first group of farmers arriving in 1962 and final allocations completed in 1966. Thirty farms produced mostly cotton, however pest problems soon became apparent. The early 1970s saw the application of large amounts of pesticides on crops. The primary pest was the caterpillar Helicoverpa armidra which developed resistance to the pesticides. The resulting low crop yields combined with a drop in world cotton prices led to suspension of the commercial cotton industry in the region. The second dam, Ord River, Main, Dam, work started on the Main Ord River Dam in 1969 and was completed before the official opening on June 30, 1972 by Prime Minister William McMahon, when he said, This marks the beginning of Ord Stage 2. The main Ord River Dam, 
known locally as Top Dam holds back the waters of the Ord River in Lake Argyle. The Ord scheme created Lake Argyle, which is Australia's largest dam reservoir, covering an area of 741 square kilometres. The Ord River Irrigation Area Today the Ord River dams provide water for irrigation to over 117 square kilometers of farmland and there are plans to extend the scheme to allow irrigation of 440 square kilometers in the near future. The main Ord River dam also generates power for the local community of Kulnanura. By 2009 more than 60 different crops were grown in the Ord catchment area. One third of the area is used for sugar cane cultivation. In 2009, the Rudd government and Colin Barnett announced a development plan for the area. The plan emphasized community and infrastructure development including upgrades of Kumanura Airport and the port at Wyndham. Power Generation The Ord River Dam Hydro Scheme is a privately funded owned and operated power system in the East Kimberley region of Western Australia. It consists of a new 36 MW hydroelectric power station at Lake Argyle and are connected, by lengthy 132 kV transmission lines, with existing diesel-fueled power systems at the Argyle Diamond Mine and the Kunanura Township. The scheme can currently only produce 1% of the power the Snowy Mountains scheme produces. The power station was constructed from 1995 to 1996. Environmental Effects Xyro research conducted in 2008 found that the water quality in the lower reaches of the river was good and that planned activities were not an ecological threat. Salinity and erosion are also becoming an issue in the area due to the rising of the water table in the area. The use of groundwater drains has been suggested by hydrologist Dr. Tony Smith, as a possible remedy to salinity problems. Some concerns have been raised that the large body of water created by the dam could attract Asian insects and birds which may transmit dangerous viruses such as avian influenza. Like so many other experiments in tropical agriculture the scheme initially failed because of difficulties growing crops and attack from pests. Today the irrigated areas successfully produce a variety of fruits and vegetables, with the most recent crop being sandalwood. Associated wetland areas have been preserved within the lakes Argyle and Kumanura Ramsar site. Ord water quality and flow contributed to the disappearance of the common banana prawn, Rachel Carbonell, North Queensland irrigation plan could destroy prawn fisheries in Gulf of Carpentaria, producers warn, ABC News, March 27, 2014, 17, the site forms part of the Ord irrigation area important bird area, Ebo so identified by BirdLife International because of its importance for wild birds, especially astralded finches. Logistics Much of the produce is exported to Southeast Asia. 10. Sugar, which was produced from the late 1990s until the end of 2007 in the Oriya was trucked to Windham where it was exported to a Korean-owned food manufacturing plant in Surabaya, Indonesia. Fruit and vegetables are sold to domestic markets and are trucked to all capital cities. The Oriya is also home to the largest commercial Indian sandalwood plantations in the world. Mm.